Hello everyone, this is Putz327, and welcome to my version of a Sims 3 Lepacy. Now, I have got this idea from watching another Sims Let's Player called A Cotton Sock here on YouTube. But I decided to do this one a little differently. Um, this is our legacy founder, Anthony Sewell. And this is his house out in Sunset Valley. It's the... <laughs> you can't even see the city from here. It's the furthest lot on the map, I think. But I did build this house. Um, if you're unfamiliar with how a leprosy works, at least what I gathered from watching her, is it starts with the base game and each generation is a new expansion pack. So my goal for him is to garden and fish. And I didn't even realize there are plants over here. Let's see if they'll pop in again. Yeah, there they are. An apple tree and two pepper plants. There's some lettuce over here, so he'll be able to work on his skill without me having to buy books. Because if you look over here, he only has $50. Because I built the house. And unfortunately, building the house <laughs> took all of his money and the lot wasn't exactly cheap. Um, I did make a video for a speed run or a speed build on building this house. If anyone would like to see that, I can upload it later. But he's got a pretty basic setup here. He only has a toilet and a shower and a bed. So hopefully he can make enough money gardening and fishing to at least give him a kitchen. Otherwise, we're going to have to go scrounge at the park for a while. So, let's see. I, I put him for his lifetime wish to be one with nature, which is master the fishing skill and the gardening skill. It says in the little pop-up window, despite the conveniences and luxuries afforded by modern technologies, thanks for some Sims can't handle the hustle and bustle of today's society. It will take some effort to become truly self-sufficient, but your Sim may be finally may finally be able to return to a simpler life surrounded by Mother Nature. Sorry, I got a little tongue-tied there. He wants to join the law enforcement career, but I'm not going to let him do that. So he's going to start off the <clears throat> Sorry, it's been a while since I recorded any vocal audio for any of my videos. I do have a couple mods, um, in RAS story progression. I do have in RAS mod, so whenever he finds a suitable partner, he can do some music. Um, I did have a couple mods that so I took them out before I decided to record this. I'm going to try to aim for these videos to be at least 25 to 30 minutes long so that a lot can be done within that amount of time. Hopefully by the first, by the end of this first episode, we will have some sort of poem. So I took out all my um, expansion packs and stuff packs, but I do have a lot of old content that I downloaded <coughs> that don't, those things don't come in with the base game initially, and I do have some custom content. Um, the custom content mainly being um, 
build build items there's some buy items that I have on here too but oh, he kind of scared me I forgot that the newspapers get delivered by children but one of my favorite things to do at least since I started playing The Sims 3 again is to make a screen in a porch see these windows are not actually windows they're screens now I know that it really won't matter right now because Seasons is far off in the um, expansion lineup, but a closed-in porch just fascinates me, but I didn't really have to close it in, I guess, behind another door. I could have just left it open because we won't have temperature issues because there's no season to one season. But it's just for the aesthetic. For the days for aging up, I have the light fan set to small. But I do have some store items this outfit he's wearing I think actually is sure. I thought from the expansion, but when I was making him a gas I thought that and I can't really tell anymore what is store and what is custom content because I think they have the same icon. At least I know I'm going to buy them. So one is a few So when I first bought this lot for him, uh, NRAS popped up with story progression, so I already came that on. I haven't fiddled with any of the settings yet. So if something comes up, I need to do If you're a long time viewer of my channel, even though I don't have very many videos, at least not for the time that I'm on here, I should have a couple hundred more. Um, I used to do speed builds for the Sims 4, and I did try a legacy challenge for the Sims 4, but Sims 4 and I have a very complicated relationship. And I've very much considered just doing this with the Sims 2, but because I have the, I think it's the master I don't know, it's, it's got all of them. I can't uninstall them in the video, so if I do that, harvested this apple tree for these kind of things. And I'll probably get that for everything from home. But yeah, I can't uh, uninstall things individually from The Sims 2 and then reinstall them by generation. So, if I were to do that, I could only do that with all of the expansions and all of this, the packs installed. Since he is 4, I'm going to 
take all of these and sell them. I guarantee you can get anything. He won't get enough to buy anything to furnish his house. And only burn him up to seventy-two dollars and a half of fun. So that's brilliant. Uh one thing I did toss around the idea of the starting movie. I'm pretty sure that's what the movie is called. I know when the, the game first released back in 2009, I can remember all this because I was in one player and I played play with in 2, 3, and 4. He still hasn't caught anything. Anyway, he needs to go fishing with the doors today. So we don't know these people, but it looks like Judy Bunch has just received a new peon in the form of Gobius Kofi. He literally hasn't left his lot, so we don't know any of these people. Oh, he did catch a fish. Anthony caught a normal alley catfish weighing 0 0.1 kg worth at least $5. Great. Okay. Anthony is an angler, so he'll naturally catch more fish than other sims. Hover over any trait in the Simology panel to see more benefits. Okay, there's a lot of uh, summary here from NRAS. That I'm not going to read because it's all stuff that doesn't concern us at all. But why did he find an alley catfish way up in the mountains up here? Like To give you an idea, if you're familiar with The Sims 3, you probably know where this lot is. But that is where the <laughs> So the main intention of this house is he can start his family here. Um, the only thing I don't like about the way this is set up is you constantly get caught on these mountains. Um, the main plan I was going for with this house, and it is small, it's on a smaller lot, and as you can see it's only got one bedroom. One bathroom. Again, I built this, um, so there's always room for expansion. I didn't uh, download any of the any of the features on the lot, except for obviously custom content. But this house can be expanded upon. We can give it a second floor. I don't like how it does that, but oh well. Anyway, the whole idea was him starting his family here, and that this would remain the lot of the family home. 
Now, other generations will probably move to new towns, but we're far off from that. Um, I know that World Adventures, you have different worlds, but other than that... thinking like this this was placed in the grew from bacteria that was dumped in the water. So I thought about originally doing this let's play in movie. Pretty sure that's what the town is called. Don't uh Go crucify me if I'm wrong. Because that was a town that came out after the initial release. So we're up to a hundred and twenty two now, so well on our way to Specifically, this lot because of this over here. So that he could feed himself and get some money that way. Now, unfortunately, I don't think he's going to have enough to buy a break. He feed himself and he's already hungry. Way more. Yeah. We need at least three hundred and seventy five dollars for one bridge. And four hundred and four. Then we will have to buy groceries to put 
put in the fridge. Fortunately, we do have apple sauce, but in order to make any things, Got his biggest fish ever, catfish weighing 1.99 kg. I unfortunately am a stupid American that does not know the metric system really well like that. So I have no idea how much 1.99 kg is. Um, so that's fun. Either way, it was worth a good bit of money, and still we don't have enough. But I am starting to run out of time to record. I'm going to let this go for a couple more minutes. In fact, I think what we can do is go get him a job. Let's see. Go back to the town. I think I'm gonna do this, but let's get him a part time job at the grocery store. Because he wants to buy all of these things that he cannot afford. Okay, he bought a fish while he got to attack. quality assessor $30 an hour Jesus See if there's anything. I know there is no don't go home yet. There's a picnic basket here. Oh, we can just grab a plate. Will it cost us anything to grab a plate? I don't know. <sighs> So I'm not going to be using any money cheats because that would be cheating, obviously. Cheat, right in the words. 
Okay, can you... Don't... Oh... I'm sorry, man. Okay, so... Pause it. We are at the 25 minute mark. I am going... Stop recording here. I think... See if he grills the fish, will he burn it? No, I can't even do that because he doesn't have what he needs. All right, so can we harvest anything here? I'm thinking no. Is there anything anywhere else? Like, I don't think we can eat. No, we cannot just eat the fish. Uh, he's quite hungry. He's got 23 hours before... I, I don't know what happens before he starves to death. Crap. Alright, well, let's see. Can you go? Oh, he can go dumpster diving. Let's see what happens if he'll find any food. Thinking probably he won't, but. Maybe? Hopefully? It'll honestly be really gross if that's what food and eats it, but he's hungry and he doesn't have any money. because it was really loud. Alright, so thank you so much for watching this. Um, I do plan to continue this for... I know you're hungry, man. Look at the go home. Uh, can you eat that? No, you can only plant it. Alright, so until next time, thank you for watching. And... We'll see what happens in our next episode. Until next time. Bye.